So, a uh, bit more on the physical layer um, and uh, to do with the media um, definitely is a factor here. Uh, and this is uh, simplex, half duplex, and full duplex. Um, when you are communicating, um, what will the media handle? Um, Okay, let's uh, start with the most complex because it is conceptually the simplest. Fiber optic cable is simplex. You cannot send information both ways. Uh, simplex is, is one directional communication. You can only communicate in one direction. And that is why we talk about fiber optic cable pairs. Because you need a pair of cables if you want to do it. You have a laser at one end and a receiver at the other end. Lasers do not receive signals with toffee. Um, receivers can't send anything. So, you know, you've, that is, that is simplex. That's, you know, you've got the cable in the middle, you've got the laser at one end, you've got the receiver at the other end. That's the direction of communications travel. So if you want bi-directional communications you've got to do it with a pair of cables I, I mean you can do the same thing with free space lasers um, you have a, a, a laser um, you have a detector at the other end uh, then if you want to communicate back you you know put a, a laser at the other end you put a detector at your end there you are. You've got bi-directional communications. But basically, they are operating independently of each other. So you've got two simplex uh, communications channels. Now, half-duplex is um, media that can handle both directions, but only one at a time. Um, uh, radio tends to do that, that so um, you, you can send both directions but only one direction at a time uh, and, and radio works this way because um, you, you don't want to have uh, people talking at the same time over the same frequency so, um, you know, you have portable phones, you have cell phones um, that are using radio communications and you think, you know, yes, this is, this is full duplex, we're both talking at the same time, you know, we don't have to worry about who's talking, but the thing is that you're using two different radio channels to do that. So, um, radio, uh, but, you know, radio, you have the standard thing, you know, over and which is over to you you can talk now uh, I am you know my talk is over um, you know all of that I, I know that some of the people who use radios uh, 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 get into the over and out thing and 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 those who are actually working with radio know that over and out is redundant um, over means I'm turning the communications over to you out means we have finished our communications so, anyway, uh, <clears throat> the, um, so we've got, uh, simplex, uh, half duplex, and then full duplex, which you can communicate in both directions at the same time. Um, now I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Uh, finding an example because an awful lot of communications that we do um, you know as I say you know fiber optic we use pairs of cables so it seems like you know you just plug in the cable and and uh, the communication goes on in both directions um, the uh, you know Ethernet uh, you've got a cable and uh, um, you're communicating in both directions. But the thing is that in the uh, 
uh, protocols, uh, there are all kinds of timing considerations as to, you know, who gets to talk now and, and who doesn't and how do we figure that out. Um, so, you know, the, the media that is used is going to impact um, what you can do with your communication signaling. Um, it, you know, it, it is going to uh, limit you in, in terms of, you know, do you need two channels for full communication? Um, it is, uh, but, you know, as I said, you know, there are ways and means that we can, we can deal with this. Um, but as long as we understand. I, I remember one, uh, did I tell you about the guy who, who figured that we'd get to uh, ADSM? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, asynchronous digital subscriber on ADSL, that's right. And uh, um, that we would use, you know, high speed in one direction on one and high speed in the other direction on the other. And, you know, that doesn't work. It's always, you know, one directional from the uh, telco when you're using that technology. Um, so, you, you know, you do have limitations on uh, the media. It, it does limit you, but you can, um, you know, if you've got enough bandwidth there, you, you could have uh, technological fixes that seem to um, make it uh, possible uh, to communicate freely anytime you want. Um, so, you know, think about this with regard to cabling, think about this with regard to uh, segmenting problems. Um, uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's things like, you know, do you have a lot of electromagnetic interference? Then, yeah, fiber optic cable is probably a good bet here because it's not subject to the same uh, types of effects. On the other hand, if you have electricians around the place, don't use fiber optic cable because they like, you know, snugging them into corners and fiber optic cable does not like corners. You have a, a minimum bend radius that you need to deal with uh, when you're dealing with fiber optic cable. So, you know, it's all kinds of uh, things that you have to bear in mind. The uh, half wavelength, which is um, the... Oh, uh, the frequency that is being used on um, a uh, particularly Ethernet uh, when you're transmitting. Um, and the, the cable lengths um, and the taps into the cable uh, have to be uh, made on the half wavelength. Otherwise, you start getting reflections and for noise. Um, in the cable and that cuts down on your effectiveness cuts down on the traffic that you can use now in the old days with uh, good old thick ethernet uh, st or stuff that was uh, the size of garden hose um, this was marked on the cable um, I think thin net actually marked it but the, the marks weren't as obvious and of course as soon as we got into twisted pure everybody just cut cables any length they wanted and uh, one place that I went into they'd done this and 90% of the traffic on that network was noise um, you know it was a terrible degradation in terms of the throughput they could have had had they done it correctly